That's funny guys. I applied for a loan from AB and Amaro the other day. They approved my loan. I'm gonna get the money, but but um but um guess what? I'm talking to the guy on the phone and he's like, oh he's telling me all this information. And then he's like, oh one more thing. Just in case something happens to you or you have an accident and you die, you still have to pay back the money. <laughs> you, you see how that makes me laugh? Like, if I'm dead, the last thing on my mind is paying back money from a bank, dude. Well, I'm dead. I don't really give a fuck at that point. It's over. So maybe you're talking about my family? So my family would have to pay the money. Is that the relevance of it? Because how am I going to pay? I'm fucking dead, dude. So I'm telling the banker, like, I'm like, but that, but that's kind of like an oxymoron. How does that make sense? How am I supposed to pay something when I'm dead? It doesn't make any sense. And he's like, oh, no, no, it's your family. We'll probably take on the debt and stuff like this. You're like, what? <laughs> probably family would take on the debt, I think. They would inherit the debt. They would inherit the debt. Yeah, I think so. I don't know if it works like that, to be honest. I'm not sure about all the information, but I don't really give a fuck. I'm not planning on dying anytime soon. I'm planning on living for a very long time. Anyways, um, uh, yeah, I just find it a bit weird, man. The bank is always thinking about their bottom line, right? They're not. They don't. They're not really concerned about your life. Or anything about that. They only care about the money that you borrowed. And now when you pay, you have to pay it back. And if you pay it back early, then, they, <laughs> and then they're like, oh, wait, what are you doing, man? Hey, what are you? Because they love the interest rates. They love the, the interest rates. They love the interest rates of the repayment. So if you pay them back early and there's no interest, you know, banks love interest. They love it. They fucking love it. He's going to panic. He's going to start panicking if you... The bank starts panicking if you pay back the loan early. <laughs> they start panicking because they want the money in interest. They want you to pay a penalty. They want you to pay a penalty on top of the money that you borrowed. They do, though. Man, I was walking outside today and I saw this fire-ass girl, dude. Like she was really pretty. Like, she was like 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10, I don't know, 8, 8 out of 10, I think maybe 9 out of 10, 8 slash 9 out of 10, she's a, she's a really pretty girl, yeah man, very pretty, I mean maybe I'm giving her too much, uh, I, I haven't, I haven't had sex in like, oh my god, how long has it been, like 2 years, so maybe I'm kind of like, maybe I'm kind of like, giving her too much credit, because I haven't had sex in like 2 years bro, more, probably more than two years actually so you know i'm probably giving her too much credit right because i haven't i haven't had any punani for a while dude i mean i've had sex i've had sex with prostitutes and stuff like that but i but i haven't had a you know i haven't had a connection with anyone in a while in two years <laughs> haven't had, i actually haven't had sex in two years bro for real Two years. That's a long time. Yeah, but some people have never had sex ever. Some people are still virgins right now. Why don't they just get a hooker and smash and be big deal? Like, how is there any hookers? Or how is there any virgins on the planet? Why don't you just go fuck a prostitute? I mean, if you can't get a real girl, then you go get a prostitute. That's how, that's how it works, man. That's how it works, man. That's the world we live in. I don't know, man. I, I don't. I don't know, man. I I only use hookers like for fun, you know. Like it's a fun thing. It's not really like, oh, I'm trying to lose my virginity or I'm trying to do this. You know? <laughs> it's for fun, man. It's after like maybe if I win a big bet, because the other day I won a massive bet with blackjack and I had like nine hundred euros in my Toto account. I basically took the money out, put it in my Revolut account. But then I had to transfer the money from my Revolut account to my ING account because I could get the cash out. Because my Revolut account is basically like an intermediary, you know? It's like I use that one. I put like my savings in there. And then I put my main, my, my main bank account is my ING account. My main bank account is my ING account. Yeah, literally. 
Like that's where most of my that's where my money comes in. That's where my salary comes in. That's where everything comes in. So typically, when I'm gambling, I gamble with the with the with the Revolut account, the savings account. You know, I had a bunch of money in there. I had a bunch of money in my in my Revolut account, but um, you know, this happened, that happened. I spent like 300 euros on a hooker the other day. Yeah, and I didn't even get off. I didn't even get off, dude. Like I couldn't I couldn't even get off because she's she just the vibe was off. I mean, that's that's like the disadvantage with these hookers, man. Like you might not get off because the vibe might be off. You know if the vibe is off slightly, you can't you can't you can't really I mean, you can get your dick hard, but it's like, but it's like, okay, I'm sitting in front of this hooker and she's like telling me this, telling me that. It's kind of a turn off, you know? When they open their mouths, <laughs> as soon as they start talking, it's a turn off immediately. As soon as the hooker starts talking, as soon as she starts talking, it's like, oh, it's a complete turn off, man. <laughs> dick gets soft. And then I just throw the money in her face and leave. But um, no, I, nobody nobody abuses them. I'm just telling you that like nobody abuse. What are you talking about? Like, I'm just saying like their job is to please me, right? They're doing a shit job. So you know, I've I've spent a lot of money on hookers actually. If I actually think about all the money I've spent on hookers, like, damn, it's a lot of money, dude. 300 there, then I spent, I spent, I spent 100 on this other hooker. I spent 30 on the hooker. So how, much, how, much, how, much, how much are we on so far? 300, 100, 400, 430. All right. And then I also spent another, I think it was 100 or 80 or 50 or I think it was 105 year olds with that Asian chick I don't even remember how she looks like it was all a blur but it was I've probably almost spent let me see let me see let me see close to a thousand euros on hookers <laughs> I mean yeah you know it's 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 uh it's like it's like it's like going to a restaurant you know you, you buy a meal you taste it and maybe you don't like it so you send it back but with a hooker you can't send her back <laughs> you can't send her back to the, the pimp I assume you'd send her back to the pimp and then you'd get another one right to compensate it's crazy how I'm thinking of women as ones and zeros here yeah but it's not me it's not me you guys are blaming me for the sex industry <laughs> I'm actually giving them money so I'm kind of I'm actually doing them a favor I'm helping them I'm giving them money like what the fuck are you guys talking about <laughs> what the fuck are you guys talking about I'm not it's not my fault I would say it's actually the government's fault for not giving them a pathway <laughs> I don't know whose fault it is like whose fault is it that she's a prostitute like whose fault is it that she's a prostitute is it her fault? Is it her circumstances? Is it her environment? Is it the people around her? Is it her? Is it... What is... What's, whose fault is it that she's a hooker? It's her fault, right? It's not always that black and white. Like, I don't, I don't think all of them are forced into it either. I don't think the human trafficking thing is also very prevalent here. I think they're all voluntarily doing it and that's their fault. I mean, why would you choose to be a hooker, dude? That's like the worst job ever. You're selling your body to strangers to fuck you and give you money. <laughs> it's like, she don't even know my real name and she's fucking me. Like, it's just, it's great. I don't know her real name either, but it's like, damn. 